Welcome back to the second episode of Cottage Core Recipes. In this episode, we will be adding a twist to the crepe cake with a delicious matcha flavor and a simple cream cheese frosting. First off, the frosting. In a bowl, add your cream cheese and beat it until smooth. Then add in your caster sugar and cream it into the cream cheese. Then add in your vanilla extract and heavy cream and beat the mixture for around 2-3 to three minutes until you get stiff peaks. Then place it in the fridge while we make the crepes. In another bowl, sift in your all-purpose flour and matcha. Then add in the salt and mix it well. In a different bowl, add in your melted butter, milk and eggs. Mix until well incorporated. Then add in your vanilla extract and mix again. Finally, sift in your dry ingredients and when ready, mix it all with your whisk. Now it's time to make our crepes. In a medium-sized non-stick pan at medium-high heat, pour in around 3 tablespoons or an ice cream scoop's worth of batter. Place it on the heat and let the batter cook for 1-2 to two minutes. When you're ready to flip, unstick the edges and turn the crepe around. Cook for another 30 seconds and then remove the crepe from the heat. Repeat this process until you have no more batter left. Now it's time to take your frosting out of the fridge. To each individual layer, spread your preferred amount of frosting all around the top. Do this to every crepe except one. Then place each crepe on top of each other creating a tower. If it's stable enough, top the cake off as you wish. I did so with more frosting and a sprinkle of matcha, but you can add strawberries or anything you like. But if the cake is a bit unstable, leave it in the fridge for 30 minutes before starting to decorate. After finishing the cake off, place it in the fridge for a minimum of 45 minutes before serving. And there you go, a deliciously easy matcha craft cake. Yes, it's a bit time consuming, but the recipe is simple, delicious, and will surely impress your guests. Thank you for watching episode 2 of my Cottagecore recipes and hope to see you next week for episode 3.